Courage. Inspiration. Balance. Determined. Persistence. Stillness. I'm here in East London um, with some incredible women talking about inner strength. We're all doing a photo shoot today for Special K Nourish and I'm really excited. Um, all of these women have faced adversity and shown amazing displays of inner strength so it's going to be quite a cool experience for me to get to know a little bit more about them. I think that my, my grandma, my nana, she's the person that I look up to just because she always has a smile on her face. Regardless oh, really? of whatever is going on, she is the person that will uplift everyone. If you can be brave enough to be open about your experiences, mm -hmm. then it invites so much more kind of positivity oh. into your life. Where do I draw my inner strength from? Well, the answer would be multiple places. Um, I like to read a lot, just constantly trying to absorb things like a sponge and learn new things. And I think key is also surrounding yourself with positive people in your everyday life. I think that's definitely important. Three words to describe my inner strength would be balance, positivity, and breath. This is my trusty clipper. Whenever I look at it, it gives me inner strength because it reminds me that being myself and living the way that I do is important. This is my camera, and this is the thing that reminds me to stay calm if ever I'm in a stressful situation, just because it helps me to meditate. If ever I take a picture, then I know that everything's gonna be okay. So this is Abram's trumpet. When I look at it, it gives me inner strength because it reminds me of like all the hard work and dedication that he put into his cross. This is the cross and the poem, which is actually a prayer. My mother gave this to me when I first started um, my job 32 years ago, and I've always kept it near me. I've had many life experiences where I've had to draw on my inner strength and really nourish it. But I think more recently, um, becoming a mum was one that I had many fears. Was I going to be able to do this? Was I good enough? But actually, I learned that it's a personal thing and there's no wrong or right way to do it. I'm really fortunate in the work that I do. I get to meet a range of people who've usually faced adversity in different ways. But the way they've overcome it and dealt with their lives just constantly motivates me and reinforces that message to me that actually anything is possible when you put your mind to it and keep that self-belief.